Hi everyone, Deb here. I am going to share the 15 cards I made for Kendra's card challenge. She's on YouTube here. This is her challenge number nine, KCC, hashtag KCC9. Um, you can click on the hashtags that I'll have in my description and also um, probably in my title. And you, it, the, it's three months. She does a quarterly challenge. I started these in January, but I just finished them yesterday, which was February 2nd. I didn't get a chance to video. So what it is, is you take six sheets of paper, six by six paper, and um, she cuts them up in such a way that you can make 15 cards. So the first three sheets here are the cutting guides and then they're all labeled like this is for card one, card two, card three, and card six, card one, card four, and card five. So what I do is I, um, which is what she suggested, is, I don't know what I just did with them, but I put them in plastic envelopes and I number them one through, actually I numbered them one through 17 because last quarter's made 17. So I only had 15 this time. And then, she also gives you the card sketches for the KCC9 and there are 15 cards and then you can win prizes, potentially win prizes if you're drawn each month for the months that people submit. So I didn't submit anything January so I can't win January's prizes. I don't know what the prizes are but she has a lot of different company sponsors and last quarter I didn't submit till like sometime in December and I did win a prize and it was a very nice prize. So, and I did a video about uh, prize, that prize winning in one of my hauls, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you what I used and then I'll show you the cards and I'm gonna leave this open and try to come back and show you the diagram for the card and show you what I did with it. So I, not too long ago, bought this Honeybee Stamps Rainbow Birthday. It's actually falling apart now. Um, so I took out six sheets of that, but I will tell you, I ended up using um, some of this. You can see I punched and die cut some things and um, some of this and then plus a heart out of here. And I had done this, but this turned out brown looking instead of purple, so I redid it. I think those are the, might be the only two extra sheets. I'm not sure. I did use cardstock, mostly Stampin' Up, but I did also use, um, I have had this for ages from 2017 to Tuesday morning. The only thing I used out of it was this pale, pale blue. It's really pale blue. It almost looks gray there, but it's a very pale baby kind of blue, like, like a little bit lighter than that. And I don't know if you can see these strips here. That's the color and it's very thin paper. It says printed smooth paper, but I don't see any printing on it and it is very smooth. Um, but it's okay because there's so many layers on a lot of these cards that um, I didn't mind it being thinner. I used that for the first couple cards. So I'll show you that. Also, I had bought one pack of these A2 matching envelopes and there were 12 in there. I used, I pulled out nine to coordinate and then for the other uh what would that be six yeah i think so i used um just plain white a2 envelopes now because this is rainbow birthday oh and these are double-sided let me just flip shoot through so i really did not buy this that long ago the sheets i used are um this one which has plaid i didn't end up using the plaid at all this one I did end up using this on some of the cards. Uh, this one only for die cuts. Did not use these two. I did use this one. I had polka dots on one side and then this, I think I mostly used the polka dots, but don't hold me to that. Um, I did use this one was one of the extras I pulled in, which has that on the other side, but I only use this side, I think as an extra backup, back, backing, and um, also the heart. 
I did use this. I did not use the green. I did use one of these. And I did use one of these. Sometimes I use that, I think. And I think I did use one of these. I'm trying to remember now. I'm sure I must have, but it was probably one of the early cards. Okay. All right. Now, since it's birthday, I brought out a whole bunch of birthday things, stamps and things, and I did use some of them. I used this one, which I think I got it, um, I want to say Dollar Tree. Yeah, Greenbrier International. I used this wishing you a very happy birthday, loopy, loopy, loopy. That's, I think, the only one I used in that. I used this on the, a few cards. <laughs> I used this happy birthday out of a um, Ms. Sparkle and Company, which used to be Joanne's. Used to carry, yeah, Joanne's store. And this is 2016 manufactured, but so I probably bought it in 2017. Um, I used this My Favorite Things, wishing you a happy birthday. Um, I know I used Birthday Hugs and Kisses on one, and I used Let's Pretend It's Still Your Birthday on one. I used this Globeland um, clear stamps that I, um, this is one that I had purchased not long ago, and I used the cake, and I know I used this happy birthday to you. Um, I might have used this one, happy birthday to you with a little bow, I can't remember. And they do have dyes also, and the only one I used was for the sentiment. I can't remember which one it was, so yeah. Well, whichever one is loose, let's see. Oh, this one um, looks like this, but I don't know if I ended up using that. I can't remember. I also used this My Favorite Things. Um, I used one of the candles, and now they're all connected, the candles and the flames. So I had to mask them in order to stamp one. And I'm not crazy about how it came out, but I think... I was going to use this, and I think I ended up not. I used one of the other sentiments. Um, I also used two of these um, layering balloon dies from Paper Rose that I got at scrapbook.com in November. And this, I think, was a freebie, yeah, from scrapbook.com in August. And it just says, thanks. I made mostly birthday cards, but... Um, I believe at least one or two others are, could be birthday or something else. And the very last two, I used thanks. I used a few of these retired um, bling. And I don't know. This says regals enamel shapes, but I don't think these are regals because I just don't. Um, anyway, I used a couple of these pink hearts and pink dots. I don't think I used any of the blue ones. I'm not sure. I used a couple yellow hearts from Doodlebug Design. I used a couple um, pink. I think it was this color pink. Of these La Petite's Dimensional Stickers from Hobby Lobby. And somewhere... I don't think I ended up using these. Let's see. No. I think I pulled these out to use and then changed my mind. I did use some of these Trico favors, uh, half a strip of this. I did use um, one Happy Birthday um, stick abilities from Paper Studio. And I used one of these flowers. It was a pink one that was a gift from Charlene at uh, hmm, Sher Cheryl's Crafty World, I think it is. Anyway, it was a pink flower that she had gifted me a while back, and you'll see that when we get to it. So let me get these all off my desk and figure out where to stick them for the moment. <laughs> I pulled out more stuff than that, but that's all I ended up using. It was enough. <laughs> all right, so let me bring the diagrams back in, and I'll show you the first card. So here is card number one, and here is what I did. So it's on thick white cardstock. This is that thin blue paper I was showing you from, I, I got it Tuesday morning. But the brand is um, DCWV. 
pastel papers and they're long they're eight and a half by 14. so i used it as the backing and there i was having trouble actually matching this color blue it wasn't quite matching with any of the blues i had this um color in here is like a rich razzleberry from stampin up so that's what i used there's that happy birthday stamp uh, one of them and these are retired sequins um that I am trying to use up and I don't know where I put them now but um anyway I just have those and um some like coastal cabana colors from Stampin' Up and inside I just did the the layering again left it blank and then this envelope from that pack of envelopes to match to go with it so that's card number one I did it pretty much just like they showed but I added a balloon and I thought that was cute. Now that balloon, um, that was not one of the dies. That was the Spellbinder stamp. And I just cut one out. I can tell I fussy cut it. Um, and then white twine was retired Stampin' Up! twine too. Because on the next one, I did use the this again. Um, this is card two. Now, it says any three to three and a half inch shape and I was struggling a little bit I had some the candles pulled out and I just wasn't liking how anything was working for me so I did bring in um, this extra piece of paper you see that gray that's not one of the cuts only this paper a here is this one and this is the reverse I think of this one or this one uh, okay paper a it's the reverse of this one this uh blue here had this on the back and because this is paper b okay so i ended up with the spellbinder stamp let me see if i can get that again a lot of these things i've had for quite a while and i never used them i didn't write on here when i bought it but it's a 2017 all rights reserve so probably in 2017 and it just had the three stamps which i used um and this is retired stampin up pretty peacock color which i put on black and then these are some retired stampin up blings they're more green than i thought and i ended up stamping happy birthday right on the designer paper and putting an oval in they didn't really have a sentiment area on here it didn't unless you decided to put it on here but i went with some layering ovals that had plain and scallop also um stamping up i can't remember if they're current or retired i don't know um anyway that's what i did and then inside i just put a strip of the background paper and this envelope i picked for because of this paper um so that's that one I'm going to lay these upside down over here this could be a little bit long I'll try and go faster okay this is another piece of that light blue paper as is this the only strip on card three is this and this is retired um, pretty peacock cardstock from Stampin Up just some white cardstock here and this is a piece that these two are pieces of that light blue oh I'm sorry this paper C this yellow um, we hadn't seen yet and <coughs> I was I was kind of feeling weird about using that these are the globe land stamps these swirlies the bow and this happy birthday to you and then some of the retired stampin up bling there and um, I used this one because it the inside matched not because of the outside although this sort of is the opposite of that I don't know I might switch that one to a white envelope <laughs> okay so the next one is also using globe land number four down here and this is it so this was one of the papers this was extra paper I brought in because it was just another plane there and I didn't want to use a plane it said two and a quarter inch circle I did do that and then I brought in a punch um, which I think is current still. I'm not 100% sure. 
uh, the decorative circle punch. There's the item number from Stampin' Up! If you're interested, find a demonstrator or go to their website and you should be able to find that. So I stamped the cake and I also stamped this happy birthday with the hat and um, the, there are dies to cut out the sentiments. But there was no die to cut the cake out so that's why I decided to stamp it on there. Um, I colored it a little bit. I stamped it in rich raspberry and then I colored it with some um, Daffodil Delight on the plate and I colored this bottom part with rich raspberry alcohol markers. Um, I love this paper here. And this I bumped up on dimensionals and none of the rest of this is. And then these are Dollar Tree. Um, these are from Dollar Tree. These uh, Crafter Square stickers and I don't remember which ones. There's two purples and they're very similar. I think it was these. <laughs> I just used three of them here. Inside's just plain and the envelope is kind of a plain. Oh, on the background here I used a die from Stampin' Up. It's a dotted background die and it cuts out little holes all over the paper and then I didn't like the stark white so I just took a blending brush and went over it with the rich razzleberry ink lightly to make it like a paler purple there and I liked how that came out better. What made me think of that when I was just doing the explanation is the envelope is sort of closer to that color so that's what I did there. I really like that one and this is a piece of the cardstock which I did use extra cardstock or yeah, I used extra pieces of cardstock at the edges so it wouldn't bend too much. All right, so number, what am I up to? Five. Let me move this out of the way. Um, okay, now this one had this strip and none of the rest of this was um, designer paper. So I used um, Pretty Peacock as my card base. And Rich Razzleberry is the backing. This is the one that's from My Favorite Things hug, uh, Birthday Hugs and Kisses. The XO is not though. Um, one moment please. <laughs> that's another old one I have. It's this one. And that is from Sizzix, I think. Let me see. Hampton Art. Is that right? Oh, it's Hampton Art and Sizzix. Stamp and die cut. Um, this is stuck together, but that this came in it and then there are dies on the back. This is old because I don't use these um, folders anymore. I need to reorganize and yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Um, anyway, so let me get that back in. Anyway, the um, XO, I used this one actually um, on the card here. There's another one with dots in it too and a more scripty one, but that's the only thing I used out of there. So let me put that away. Forgot to show you that because I forgot about it. <laughs> and this is, um, I had used a punch which I don't have out, but it's the Country Lane or Country Floral by Stampin' Up! in their current mini catalog. And it has a more modern heart, which I use later on. Two leaves, which I didn't use, and then this little heart. So I thought I'd just put that on and I stamped in Pretty Peacock. Uh, this is pretty, I'm sorry, this is Rich Razzleberry. I did, oh, I used, um, she didn't show stitching. She just said two and a quarter square and a two and a half inch square behind it. And then any embellishment with the layer here. I was really trying to figure out what to do with this. But since it said hugs and kisses, I thought the XO went well with it. And then this is a yellow envelope, but it has some of this paper look to it. So that's why I put that one with that. Inside is just a white sheet of paper. Okay, and then this um, was one of the papers, so it's that yellow, but it's um, it's a different pattern. So let me bring the other one back in. 
This has like squealies all over it. And this one has geometric. And I thought, oh, I'm using too much all over yellow on this card. But I broke it up with these two strips, but then I took a piece that came off of um, this one because it was this paper and it had already had these lines on it. And I just put that part on top of this one to give it a little more color. And I used Daffodil Delight by Stampin' Up. I thought it was close. And then basic white cardstock. Inside's just white, very yellowy. So I thought with those same Dollar Tree dots, I'd bring in some of the greens and different shades of purples. Um, didn't really have any, I guess this one's kind of blue. So I was trying to bring in more color and I stamped it in um, Tahitian Tide, which is a beautiful turquoisey kind of color by Stampin' Up too. But any kind of turquoise or any color, I could have used Rich Razzleberry too, but I wanted to use the blue in this case. And then inside, um, it has the same geometric paper, but inside is the squiggle paper that I didn't end up using. I really should have gotten two of those sets of envelopes because I have more paper left. So that was card number five. And then card number six is also yellow. And, but it's this, oh wait, which one did we just do? We did six, right? This was six. Yeah, okay, well, let me switch then. We're on seven now. Okay. Card number seven is this one up here, and it has this two and a quarter inch circle with a layer. I didn't use that, but you'll see what I did here. It's also another yellow card, and she had like um, decorative border. So I went digging in my stash, and here's where I used those gems. Um, I think these were gifted to me because I don't know where this brand comes from. I'm pretty sure I remember who gave this. These are called Rhinestone Stickers Gold, but they looked more yellow to me. Anyway, I used half of this strip, and it's got, you know, the pearls and the yellow. I think they're more yellow. <laughs> um, this Happy Birthday was from Paper Studio, and then this is the flower that Charlene had gifted me. However, I added a, um, I glued down a pearl embellishment on top of it. And I loved that it was the flowers. I was kind of struggling with what sentiment I wanted to use, but I was trying to do birthday cards, right? For the most part. So I did put a happy birthday there. And so I backed it. The paper had black in it. Um, some black was showing through here because the way they layered, she layered it. And then um, I just thought the shiny black helped, helped it. <laughs> And inside, I layered white on black. And then for the envelope, um, I used this one. It's actually the reverse side of one of the yellow papers, but it had flowers in it. So I, it's on white instead of black, but I thought it would be all right. So that's number seven. Number eight, um, at first I thought, oh, I didn't cut my paper right or something. These are just two little pieces that only go over to about here. <laughs> So I layered them on black also. This was the paper, um, from paper D. And then any three and a half inch wide shape. And I thought, hmm, I used to have a punch this shape, but I think I got rid of it. And um, I don't think it was three and a half inches anyway, but I still had these mm, stitched. Let me get the right name. They are retired. Um, stitched nested label dies. From Stampin' Up, they were from the annual catalog 21 to 22, so they retired a year ago, but I kept them because I like them. This color is Poppy Parade, and I just used black ink, um, and this was another one of the papers that we were, you know, the two, they were two papers, two little pieces from Paper F, and then I didn't, I felt like this was too bare. And this came out of somewhere else. Hang on. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Stampin' Up! set. Uh, but, uh, yes, it was from Shaded Summer. Some friendships are just meant to be. And then I also used 
the happy birthday on the inside. I forgot to show you that one. I did not use any of the flowers, but these little flowers here are um, Stampin' Up, and they, I think, are current. I have a lot of Stampin' Up, so you'll have to forgive me, but I'll be using them till they're gone. Fun flowers, resin shapes, and these are the colors they came in. This is actually an orange, but this red is sort of an orange red. And I thought it went with them. Plus, I put some yellow ones on to bring out the yellow. So I thought that came out really pretty. It might be one of my favorite. I just put a white envelope with that one. All righty. Let me get those out of the way. So now we're up to this one, which is number 789. And <laughs> here's where I used the candle and the flame and I masked it um, because actually this paper had a pattern. I think it had this pattern on the other side, this uh, geometrical. But I stamped the candle on there and then I realized, um, oh, it didn't stamp right. I forgot to take the masking tape off when I stamped you. Yeah, don't do that. Um, and this was one of the papers. So this strip and this were the two papers from Paper C and Paper E. And then she had a thin sentiment going across. Well, um, I don't know. I was, ha I was struggling with this one for some odd reason. Not with this part. Um, the color combo, maybe. This is um, Daffodil Delight because I thought it went with that. But then I thought it was too much ye yellow again. So I brought in Tahitian Tide, again, the turquoise color, which I think goes really well together and it's festive for a birthday. I actually stamped this in Tahitian Tide and this in Poppy Parade. Um, I did put some Wink Estella on the Poppy Parade and it lightened it more to an orangey flame looking color. But because of where this had to go, I had put the flame way up here. And I actually did that wrong the first time. So there's another flame like right under here. You didn't need to know that, but you know, it is what it is. So it's birthday, but then it just looked plain without something on it. So I used two of those yellow La Petite um, dimensional balloons. They're very dimensional from Paper Studio. And then these um, I stamped in Tahitian Tide. I'm pretty sure I showed you the stamp where this came from, but now I can't remember. And um, these are currently in the annual catalog. 22 to 24 in color matte decorative dots, but they're sort of ombre, which I, I don't like. I wish they would have just made them all the same color. So I have like a dark and two lighter ones here. The diagram only has showing the three at the top, but I needed something else down here, I felt like. And this is a piece, this is not a piece of that light blue paper. This is white. And again, I just took Tahitian Tide and a blending brush and I went lightly over the white paper to make it a little bit blue but not as dark as the background and there's a lighter blue dots in this polka dot so that's why I wanted to do that and inside I did use celebrate and I think that was out of the same stamp set if I'm not mistaken so this next one no this one's okay all right, so this is seven, eight, nine, ten. I should write these on here. This is 10, 11, and 12. I don't, I'll do the other ones later. Um, this used two pieces of paper, two fairly large. So again, we have the polka dots, but now we have a pink. I put this on polished pink, which is a little off color, but it's okay. I did use the Heart Punch Duo from Stampin' Up! that I'll never get rid of. It's my favorite punches for hearts and things. And I did stamp out of one of those stamps, You Make My Heart Smile. And um, this one, I didn't make it uh, necessarily a birthday or a Valentine's. I figured you could just send that to a friend or anyone that you just want to say that to. You make my heart smile and it could be a thank you note, you know, anything. Here's where I use that other country, oh, let me show you those. Um, this one's out of Country Bouquet. I used the Little Heart early on. Um, 
on one of these cards up here. I don't remember which this one, the hugs and kisses one. The little heart comes out of it and the big heart too. And I just didn't use the leaves. So, but these are a duo and they're, I think they're still available in the annual, but I wouldn't be surprised if they retire soon. And it comes with a plain and a um, scalloped heart. Love those. And I'm going to like this one too because it has a more modern look. So you see they put two little hearts down here. It said any shape, but I went with the hearts. And then this was a retired Stampin' Up! Um, heart from that little box I showed you earlier. Um, right here. These. Okay, and nothing on the inside except white. I did use this, um, but I because it had this on the inside, but I might change it to a plain white. I don't know yet. All right, so this one, I made an upright, and I struggle with this one a little bit too, but here's what I did. So it just had the two strips of paper and they were separated and then any two in shape. So in my wisdom, I decided I wanted one of those die cut balloons. So I just had the, I turned it around. I used a horsehair um, spellbinders embossing folder. I don't know why other than it was out on my desk <laughs> or out on my floor next to me here. So I decided to use it. And then I did the blending brush thing again with polished pink, which is what this color is in the background. I stamped in uh, Night of Navy, the big happy birthday. And that is from, um, that's the one from Miss Sparkle and Company here. And then I thought it needed something besides just those. So I had some pinkish glimmer paper near me, so I die cut that out as well. And then, you know, I have to go in threes, right? So I brought in one of the La Petite puppy balloons. I was thinking maybe I should have taken, taken the, the bottom layer off and just used the top layer, but too late now. These two actually have white twine on them, which you can't really see other than there, and it's sticking out down here a little bit. And then these three dots were from that little box also. And I thought they matched really well, even though they're not the same exact color. And this was out of that same extra paper that the this heart was punched out of. So I punched a, a die cut a balloon out of it. Inside's just blank, just happy birthday. There is like navy dots in the paper. So I thought that broke up the pink a little bit as did the gold here and the sh and the, well that's shimmery but there's gold sparkles in that balloon and the string but the knight of navy i thought i couldn't use pink and i didn't want to use black on this one so that's that and i just have a white envelope for that that was number 11 and the number number 12 is hearts again i struggled a bit with this one too because the two papers that this were, I didn't plan well, I guess. This was paper F with the polka dots. And the, the other side is also this color, but it's um, like a, just a plain swirl. And then this, of course, is polka dots. So I put polka dots with polka dots, but I don't see much of this color. There might be some in that polka dots, and I just wasn't feeling it. And then I thought, well, it's hearts. So I brought in this, um, I think this is Sizzix. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's the You Make My Heart Smile. I forgot to show you that too. Stampendous. This I had bought off Jen Evers when she used to do her live sales on YouTube. Um, and this was Sizzix. Um, I think I bought this maybe from the same place, but I had I had forgotten about it, but I used it and I actually took the brush and used Daffodil Delight and Poppy Parade, which is this color, but lightly over the hearts after I did the embossing and I used the side that made it um, raised up. And then here's where I uh, used the 
the non-scalloped heart punch and I use that same you make my heart smile in poppy parade and then the three yellow hearts those were doodle bug designs and um, these and they were from 2017 tiny hearts they were called um, shape sprinkles what doodle bug called them then I don't know if they went with a, a, um, some kind of collection or not, but um, 2017. Yeah, a lot of stuff I've had for a while. So I guess it came out okay. I think I salvaged it, sort of. I still don't think this paper goes with it real well, but it's okay. And I didn't do anything on the inside. Normally, because of the weight of the card stocks on the front, I'll probably put a piece of poppy parade with an, another white piece on top but I didn't do that yet and this is just a white envelope all right so flipping over oh and I doubled up the hearts on that she had a single heart but it said any shape um, back there too and I used a double heart okay then we're to number 13 14 and 15 all right this one i made a birthday card too it only had three pieces of paper but one is very small oh hang on okay um so here's my card back to birthday i used uh, scallop contour dies by stamping up um, not sure if they're still current or not they might be yeah they're still current in the annual catalog uh, they're called scallop contour dies and um, this is one of the smaller ones which actually if you didn't have a big stamp on it then you could put ribbon through this one this is stitched and then here are the two pieces and in the die this diagram they are up against each other and I did that but I didn't put the dots over here I spread them all over the place um, and this was the piece that's supposed to be on here, but I didn't like it on there since I used the scallops. So, and I also had too much white. I just used plain white back here. So I just, um, cut it, the, I cut the little angle, the flag, and I stuck it up in this corner over here because it just was too much white space. Um, I could have run this through an embossing folder, but I couldn't figure out. It would have been just a very fine one like a subtle one <laughs> and then these dots are also stamping up and they are um i don't remember i don't seem to have those handy this one i don't have anything inside same thing as that other one i will probably put a piece of black and then white in there but there's a, another birthday card and I used the paper. This is what the design looks like on the reverse of this polka dotted, this polka dotted paper. Okay. And the last two I'm going to bring out together, 14 and 15, because they're like reverse of each other. I did use Poppy Parade because I thought that was the closest card stock I had to this pattern, which is these are the two pieces you cut paper F. Um... And this one, she just had a bow, and I kind of like that, but I thought I need something to pop off of it. So here's where I used that little thanks die from Paper Rose uh, that was a freebie from scrapbook.com. And I ran it through gold foil and also white cardstock. I only ran it through twice, not three times. I layered them, and um, I left it blank inside. So I have thank you cards. Then this one she had a heart but she said any two inch shape and I thought well I have the heart punches out so I'll do the non-scalped punch in gold foil but I didn't want this oh this is from Stampin' Up too there's a pack of silver and gold trim so I used that and before I laid it down on the uh, poppy parade cardstock I wrapped it around the white and tacked it down in the back and I also used glue dots to hold this in place um, so it's a little tacky there but this is also stamping up but I think this one is retired um, because it's called shimmer ribbon but their shimmer ribbon in the catalog now is this one 
and I like this one better, but it's, um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's retired. It's a different number than, I think, yeah, than, than this one is. So I had some of that anyway. I used it, and, um, and here's the Simply Elegant trim. This is in the current annual catalog. It's gold and silver. Love that stuff. Um, I wrapped that around, tacked it down, and then I used some gold, um, these are retired, gilded gems. Um, it retired at the end of the last annual catalog. I have an extra one because I like them. And they come in big, medium, and small, larger, medium, and small, but I use the larger ones. So I just saw something on there. And that's it. So I have some thank you cards as well with white envelopes. Or uh, this could be thanks to your Valentine or just thanks that was really, you know, nice of you to do that. And just a heart can be for anybody, right? So those are, oops, forgot to put the envelope back with the first one. Those are my 15 cards for Kendra's card challenge. Let me lay them all out if I can. Let me get this out of the way. And I still have to upload pictures to um, to Kendra's uh, Facebook group if I want to try and win. So I have a couple hearts. You know, you make my heart smile. But that's balloons. Another you make my heart smile which was stampendous. Um, I think this one goes with this. Oops, no. Uh, I lost an envelope to one of them here. Anyway, that one, that one. I don't have room, guys. That one. Actually, we'll put these two together. I don't know what I did. Or maybe that's that down there. I don't know. Some more yellow. Do you have a favorite? Do you like these? Um, let me know because I'm really curious. I think this is the envelope that goes with this. And it's just white. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't have enough room to show them all here. And there, there we go. There we have it. 15 cards. What a mess, huh? I am going to have to take pictures in sections like one through um, five or something. And, you know, one through six. I don't know. So thank you so much for watching. I apologize for it being so long. But I always like to tell you what I used and where it came from as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you um, participate sometime. Who knows? Maybe you could win. So this is for the first quarter of 2023. I won't be doing it for March. I'm just going to do once a quarter, and that's it. And this is my cards for the quarter. All right, everyone. Have a great day, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.